contest. It was a bit surprising if the girl blinded me with something. So um, our original idea was uh, this component that was revolves around a tag-in, tag-out system, which is very convenient for most of the people who do the PMs on the item itself. So what we wanted to, uh, wanted to look at was how can we put a piece on here that would ensure safety, but would not uh, put any modifications to the box. It would not be required of any kind of other piece besides uh, maybe a padlock or a pin. So um, what we came up with was this. And, uh, well, it is very strangely shaped. Um, the reason is it's purposely molded to the side of the lid. So we dimensioned these uh, pieces. You can see the arc right here is going to uh, be fashioned just around the hinge and uh, part of the lid. And it's going to support the lid at a 90 degree angle. So uh, what we just wanted to look at how we could simply slide it on, uh, lock it in with a padlock through this hole right here into the hinge, and uh, leave it there and be done. We wanted to make it out of something that was durable, um, obviously because this is a hip that we're talking about. Uh, it, it's not going to be light, and there's going to be a lot of pressure on whatever we use. If there's a part like us, like ours, that's holding it up, it needs to be able to withstand 50 pounds of force, uh, no matter where it is. So uh, stainless steel, uh, we thought it was a good choice because you know it's you know, very resistant to decay and like, oxidation and things like that, and it's very cheap so, for metal. It's also very easy to clean, which um, I don't know if. if in this case, but particles that can get on the piece, you know, that's a very big concern for some uh, pieces of equipment. So. All right, um, these are some uh, 3D models that we uh, designed for the art and Autodesk Inventor. Um, again, this is just what you're seeing right here. This uh, is a uh, rough example. This is, we're, we're, again, with the dimensions, we're not sure if this is uh, the size, but this is based off of dimensions our, uh, one of our teammates, Brad Green, worked off of. Um, if you want to pass it around, you can take a closer look at it. This is how the component actually fits onto the hinge system of the box. Uh, this is the main part of the hinge there. That's another part of the uh, box. But right there is exactly how it slides just right into the uh, hinge area of the box. And then the you know, little hole right there, uh, a locking pin or a padlock can be used secure the part there so that it doesn't budge out of place while the uh, lid is open so that the piece doesn't fall out. Another key point to look at is the fact that uh, they can be used on both sides, except uh, the piece we're using can just be uh, simply reversed and then applied to the other side. So in case um, maybe you don't have um, the necessary items, padlock or pin to lock it in on one side, you can simply put another piece on the other side and that would be uh, good as well. Yeah, if the part is inverted, um, we're intending to have that uh, available so that uh, there's two, uh, two different versions of a part, one to fit on the right side of the uh, white hinge and one to fit on a left hinge, so that you can fit it on both sides of the box. And shapes, nothing too fancy in it, and um, you know, maybe I'm sure a padlock could be used, not specialized locking pins or uh, specialized padlocks. And uh, yeah, the, 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 the piece holds the lid open at 90 degrees, so the lid open at uh, not being able to open more than 95 degrees. Is not, not, uh, so the reason we thought this would be the best design was compared to some original ideas of ours, just like every other group, we had to go through a decision matrix and find 
out which item would be, you know, we had to compare costs, manufacturing, um, any kind of the amount of safety it provided. And uh, we went through similar ideas like the wedge, uh, simple wedge placed beneath, or a uh, bolts, uh, any, any kind of thing that impeded the movement from 90 degrees. Uh, but we decided this one would be the best because of the fact that uh, it's, it can literally slide into the side. It um, doesn't take any sort of uh, complicated movements or um, attachment. So that's, uh, that's one of the more important facts than that and uh, materials made out of well, other than that, it could be anything better. Yeah, we just really want to focus on something that was very simple to like anybody could put this component on the box, anybody could take it off. And we just want, want like the uh, security of the pad locks and the component being used on both sides of the box. Are there any questions? Scientist, it would be surprising if the girl blinded me with something.